What's up guys, 74 Sight back at you again. Um, I got a phone call today from my wife um, that there was some really cool packages that it came in the mail. She thought it was for her, she does jewelry, she thought it might be for her Etsy sales, um, but it wasn't. She says a big old box that came in the mail, she said it's to you. And I thought, man, maybe it's some sort of eBay or something, I don't even know what it was. Um, but it was to me, 74 Sight, and it was from Gamer Emporium, as you can see. Gamer Emporium, I don't know if you can see that, to me, Sam before I had no idea he was going to send this to me, and uh, so anyway, here it is, this is unopened, just to let you guys know, no tricks, I have no idea what this is, I had no idea I was getting a package, so, let's find out what it is, I got my trusty, uh, trusty steak knife here, and so, that's pretty, okay, so anyway, um, let's see what it is. Let's unbox it. Hopefully you can see this on camera and if I can do this without cutting myself. Oh god, I never cut towards your head. Um, yep, I'm unboxing with a butcher knife. That's a uh, steak knife. And watch me cut whatever it is. Okay, so can you see that? I am triggering it. Wow, dude, you did a really good job on this Gamer Emporium. Shouldn't have. Set that down. All right. So, uh, let's see what's in this thing. <laughs> dude, look at uh, So far, we've got lots of, um, you know, garbage sack. Now, this is, what is this? This is a... Uh, Bad. I'm not sure. No, I'm, just, I'm kidding, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's like it's like a you can tie it up and you can look fantastic with it. <laughs> okay, I don't know what else in here. We're gonna start with the note. It says the note. Uh, quick glance. Um, the note. Okay, man. Let's have a look. All right. Sound before sight. I won't use your real name. Shh. Uh, it's our little secret. Exclamation point. Uh, I found this stuff just lying around my house, getting no use. And an Alabama bird told me you were big into this stuff. So I thought I would pass this along to add to your collection of awesome. Um, on one condition. Sing or rap some vanilla ice. Go Ninja Go. <laughs> Okay, ha, just kidding, unless you want to. Uh, let's see. Love your... Let's see. Oh, sorry, dude. I thought it said Chrome. I don't know why it said. Love your channel and your sense of humor. Sorry, I can't read well, apparently. Uh, enjoy these till next time. Gamer Emporium, a.k.a. Jason. Gamer Emporium, a.k.a. Jason. Southern Gamers Club for Life, SGC. Yeah, yeah. The South will game again. Uh, what'd you say earlier? The South will game again. Yeah. Uh, that's stupid, I know, he said. Actually, that's not stupid at all. Oh, you want to hear that? You want to hear some Della Ice like right now? Dude, I grew up on that movie. I know what he's talking about. He's talking about some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of the Ooze. It went like this. It had Vanilla Ice in it. It went, Go Ninja, Go Ninja, Go. Go Ninja, Go Ninja, Go. Go Ninja, Go Ninja, Go. Go, 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 Go. go. And that's kind of all I remember because then they started flipping and fighting. And anyway, I, I kept wishing it was rock steady and bebopping that, but it wasn't. I'm going to hold on to this. I saw JCA like eat my note. I'm not going to eat your note just because I don't really eat. You don't eat the note, seriously. <laughs> we can make like a plane. Okay, anyway, get on. Oh, no, 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 get on it. Okay, open this case. <laughs> Dude, it's so awesome, man. Look, I didn't know what's on the other side. It's the Ninja Turtles. Dude, thank you so much, man. I love the turtles. Like, I did I can about tear up, man. I man, I love the Ninja Turtles. Dude, are you kidding, man? <laughs> Look. Oh man. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be a, a little girl here on camera. That kind of got me a little teary. Man, how could you have known? 
Dude, I love the Smurfs, man. I have a, uh, oh, sorry. I have a, a, a lot of Smurfs collection. Um, sorry, I got a little bit. To, he didn't know about, I don't know how you knew I like Smurfs. I guess from my, from watching my videos. Um, man, when I was a kid, let me get, can I just share something about toys to, to you guys? This is just full of toys, man. I mean, when I was a kid, uh, my grandmother, should I tell this? My grandmother gave me the suitcase, and we would go to McDonald's week after week, and we would get Happy Meal toys, and I would keep them in a box. And so we collected Smurfs and things like that. Uh, I'm just now trying to start to recollect that stuff. Um, she's passed on. Uh, she's no longer here. I'm not trying to get too serious on you guys. Um, but what's awesome about this is uh, she used to tell me, she said, uh, when you grow up, she said, you're going to have kids, and this is going to mean something to you. And so I always thought it meant money. And uh, so last year, I brought that old suitcase out that I used to keep all the toys in. She had given it to me. And I hadn't opened it in all these years. And I had all these toys when I was a kid in it. And it's kind of what kind of really got me on this collecting kick. And um, I shared that with my kids, man. And uh, it was the most powerful thing. Uh, because I suddenly I realized, not to get all mushy, suddenly I realized that the reason that what she was talking about, that it was sentimental value because I was getting to share with my children what um, what they had given me and what they had taught me when I was a kid. And it's not about how much this stuff's worth. Um, it's about the, the the feeling of getting to collect and the feeling of getting to share that with somebody else. And so anyway, I'm sorry, I didn't mean bush mush. Um, dude, thank you so much. Look, okay, we got Jimmy the Cricket. But anyway, thank you, man. Uh, I don't know what all is in this box, but thanks, man. I started collecting Smurfs. But I actually have um, two canisters full of Smurfs. Um, so we got this guy. <laughs> Dude. Oh, you big time, man. This. Papa. Big pop. Um, man, he got me there. Oh, <laughs> the cell phone, which is probably the actual size of our cell phones. Um, Donald Duck. <laughs> Awesome, man. Mario. Yes. Mario Candy, man. Didn't have to do all that. A California Raisin. I have none this, at this point. Somebody got all mine. I had a complete collection. Of, well, I don't know if it was complete, but I had tons of it when I was a kid. And somebody got them all. So, anyway, I've been trying to recollect the California Raisins. That's cool. It's so ironic that you found this. Um, I saw this at a Books a Million locally, and I almost bought it. Like, I've almost bought this three times. The same exact candy and it's a little mini arcade pac-man that is so cool i love the turtles <laughs> okay we got a little tarzan happening here all these are going in the collection but so yeah in the turtles lunchbox and uh, i actually have a super mario lunchbox i do not have a ninja turtles lunchbox that is too cool and set that down um oh man are you kidding me teenage mutant ninja turtles one the original um uh, i have part two i don't have part one um, so that's really awesome. Dude, I remember going to see this as a kid and just, man, just what the turtles meant. Uh, man, I just loved it. It was so cool. Um, the first one, if you've never seen it, it's a little more, the tone of it's a little more serious than like the second one, which I kind of appreciate. Uh, I, you're like, this serious, it's about turtles. But seriously, it, it, it's kind of the tone of the movie is a little more serious and Splinter's been kidnapped and all this stuff. And so anyway, I just love it. Plus, I love Casey Jones, which I think is cool, man. What else? We <laughs> Turtles 3, dude. Dude, Turtles 3, which is so cool, man. I don't. I have two. I don't have these. Man. So, man. I think they go back in time. They, the Turtles in time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gosh, I've only seen this one a couple of times. I've seen the first and the second a hundred. I think I've seen this once. Actually, I thought I saw this at the movies in the 80s, but I'll rewatch it. Okay. God. <laughs> Why stop there? Why not have like a, a cool collector's uh, Michelangelo? Dude, I don't have this one, and he's a sailor. How awesome is that? Gosh, man, there's so much stuff in here. It's still going. Dude, I owe you big time, man. This is This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. What is this? Is that Elvis? <laughs> Elvis, man. Um, Gamer Emporium let me know recently. He likes music and told me that he's a huge Elvis fan. Which I think this is cool because I collect vinyl as well. 
So, and who doesn't love Elvis? He's also played a ukulele here. If you ever watched uh, any of the, the Elvis Hawaiian stuff, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> that's a that's a dashboard piece. Wow, a Ninja Turtles cup. <laughs> Something to drink out of. Yes, a Ninja Turtles cup. And uh, what else we got, man? Dude, so much stuff in here. Eighties, an eighties album that's got it's a three disc, man. It's got Credence on. No, 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 no. Clarence Clemens, excuse me. Psychedelic Furs, got some um, Europe, got a little Toto happening, a little Atlanta Rhythm section, uh, Scandal, cool man, this looks really neat, Greatest Hits of the 80s, Volume 1, I shall listen to this in my car, on the way to work, oh my gosh man, so much turtles, look at this, Dude, you didn't have to do all this, honestly, man. I, I'm, I appreciate this a lot, man. Uh, this is really my only second or third, well, my third trade. So, um, man, thank you so much, dude. Produced by um, Wolf Films, man. I just, I'm just kind of caught up, man. I feel like I owe you a kidney or something. All right, fine. You know what? You can have one of my kids, and I mean that. You know, well, I have a boy and a girl. I'm gonna trade you straight up right now. Best trade ever. I'm not really gonna trade my kids. But that's how I feel like it. With Casey Jones as a cartoon, we're going to meet Casey Jones. Uh, complete night season. Look at this one. Little Mikey on the back. Gosh, I'm so excited, man. <laughs> Look at these, man. Gamer, you don't have to do this, bud. Gosh. <laughs> wow, the newer He Man series. In box, man. Smash Blade He-Man. Actually, I have a DVD series of this. The the newer He-Man. Man, I loved He-Man when I was a kid. I still do, really. Oh, this is awesome. Dude, this shall hang on the wall. This shall hang on the wall. By the power of Grayskull, this shall hang on my wall. <laughs> All right, man. And, uh, bubble wrap. Uh-oh, gotta get the knife back out. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's see. Dude, I'm about to cut myself for real. <laughs> it's nervous right there. Okay. Sonic 2, awesome. And a couple of games. Whoa, dude. Mega cartridge for use of the Sega system only. I think this is from the original Sega. Is this, is it Mega? It's not Master System, Mega Drive? You guys have to correct me on it. I don't, I don't have a, or will this work? Will this work? I don't think so. No, no, this is for original, original Sega. Help me out, guys. Mega Drive, Master System. I'm sure I can find it later. Uh, either way, I don't. I have no. I don't have the system, and I don't. Of course, I don't have any of the cartridges. So this is the first of this collection, dude. It's called Great Baseball, and it looks so retro, and I'm so excited. Original Sega logo, and a Sonic 2, and just a recap of all the cool stuff that Gamer has sent me. Gamer Emporium has sent me, man. An 80s uh, three disc album, uh, Sonic 2 for the Sega. Uh, great baseball, starting a collection with that. We got Elvis. Oh. <laughs> we got so much Turtles happening, man. The original Turtles movie, um, Turtles 3, which I'm stoked about as well. Masters of the Universe toy. Um, I've got a Turtles season 9. I've got everything Ninja Turtles. This is ridiculous. Complete, complete final season. Okay, we got t the newer, a little, a slightly newer with Casey Jones. Um, we got a Turtles toy and uh, a Ninja Turtles uh, lunchbox, a Ninja Turtles cup, and um, uh, all these toys. And um, man, I just, uh, I just appreciate it so much, man. Uh, thank you, dude. That, this is a uh, that's what it's all about, man. Uh, just getting, man, it's just got me all just oh, choked up, excited just to be a part of uh, 
this game and community. Uh, I started this channel um, a little over a year ago, and um, I kind of got into this thinking, I guess I kind of had different expectations for what I thought YouTube was. Um, I thought, man, my channel is going to blow into some mega channel, and so I don't know what I was thinking, how it is. And um, you work and you edit and you do stuff and you get like 10 views or something. Um, so anyway, recently I had sent a, a JCAU99 had sent me the, the Miss Pac-Man. That was the first of this. And since that video, you guys give a, I'm going to give a shout out to JCAU99. First of all, go check out his channel, man. He's doing some really cool things for the gaming community. He's very interconnected with everybody and, and, and like I said last time, he's very in tune with what people are doing. Landon Snell, check him out. He's doing some cool stuff. Um, Goodwill Hunter, go check that guy out. Um, there's so many people that I've met lately. Don't let me miss your names, guys. You guys have been subscribed to my channel because of what JCA you did. He also, I met uh, Gamer Emporium through him. Um, and so, and uh, so, I don't want to get anybody's channel names wrong. But um, thank you, um, JCA United. Thank you, Gamer Emporium. You didn't have to do all this, man. I, I don't, I don't know what to do to to replace this. Um, what you don't know is I've already kind of sent you something. I had a little something up my sleeve. Um, it fit, it feels like it, it 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 it's nothing in comparison to this, man. Um, but but uh, you ain't gonna want up me, man. I will pay it forward. Um, but anyway, what I was going to say out of all that, and I'm going to try to rush this video up, uh, what I was going to say is that I had these high expectations for what I thought YouTube was going to be. I was, I hit 100 subscribers. I was very excited. I thought, man, this thing's really going to boom. I got buddies that are like over 1,000 subscribers at this point. And so my, my thoughts on YouTube were, were like, hey, uh, YouTube is all about getting subscribers. YouTube is about getting how many likes you can get. Um, YouTube is all about how many views you've got. And so I don't know if you're out there, man, if I can just give some encouragement, somebody might be watching this channel. If you don't have a lot of views on your channel, it's not really about that. Maybe it is for you. Um, the gaming community, this this is what it's about, man. Uh, hanging out, meeting new people, networking, being a part of a community, trading, um, enjoying the, the, the passion of collecting, diving into this. People that are like-minded, that love to go out and dig and jump, that's what it's all about. And so you might be out there, you might have a 20 subscriber count, like on your YouTube channel. So what? You might be out there and you have a 6,000 subscriber count. That's great too. And more power to you, man. Uh, good on you. But it doesn't define us. Our numbers don't define our channels. What defines our channels is the community. Okay, I'm not trying to preach to the choir here, but what defines our channels is our community. And that we hang out and that we do this kind of stuff. Okay, so anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. That's what I'm getting out of it. There's a ton of you out there, man, that have friended me. Uh, and I just appreciate it. I appreciate y'all hanging out. I appreciate this. You didn't have to do it, man. So uh, it means a lot. And um, it's going in the collection. And uh, I'm going to pay it forward. Um, it's a blessing. Um, and uh, I pray you're blessed uh, greatly in your life um, for doing this. It means a lot. Thanks.